Okay, today what we're going to do is a layer mask. Um, we created one in our layer mask assignment, but you're going, you're going to need to do this in your photo composition assignment as well. So I wanted to review with you via video how you do this so that you can refer back to this if you need to. Okay, so I'm just going to do a two layer layer mask. Um, you're going to be creating um, more layers in your composition, but you can create a layer mask and how many layers that you need. Okay, so this just shows you how to do it. So on this document, which is 11 by eight and a half, 300 resolution with a transparent background, I am going to place my first image. So I'm going to place embedded and I'm going to pl place this um, beach photo. Okay. Now that goes in pretty much directly on top of the document size, but I would like this a little bit bigger. So I grabbed the, um, the corner bounding box and I pulled it out, extended it to the size that I, that I would like it. And then you can move it around. I'm going to place that cat sitting right about here. So now I'm going to apply that transformation because it looks good. I'm going to create a second layer. Okay. And this is going to be my cat layer. So name a cat. And then um, I'm going to place embed it again. And I'm going to select my cat image. And I'm going to put it on the beach. Now that's too big. I want them to be sitting nicely in the corner of the beach. So I'm going to put them right about there. We're going to paint out that background because I don't want that background. So I'm going to apply the transformation, which is that little check mark up, up above. And then I'm going to hit this, which is the icon for layer mask down in the very bottom of your layer panel. So you hit that icon and it creates a thumbnail in your layer with the cat picture. Okay. Now you also want to select a brush. I've already selected the parameters of my brush. I want a hard brush. I want the flow to be about 75 uh, to 80. So I set that. And then um, I'm going to get a little bit, use my bracket keys on my keyboard, get the, the brush head a little bit bigger so I can get large areas out pretty quickly. And then you make sure your set foreground color is on black and you start painting. And there it gets rid of the background in a non-destructive way. So you can go back and alter this. Um, if you use the eraser tool, you can't get the pixels back. They're gone forever. So this is a very easy way and non-destructive way to eliminate items in your photographs that you don't want. So this is, this is why we ask you to do it this way because it's much more flexible for you in the future. So here I am, I'm getting rid of all that stuff in the background and I'm, I'm using large strokes and then going in with a smaller brush once I get the larger areas removed. So here I'm just going in now with a little bit smaller brush and you got to touch up the details. And um, one thing I wanted to tell you that if you take too much out, um, you can paint it back in. So I will make a um, mistake on purpose going into the cat. Oops, my hand slipped. What you do is you select white and just paint it back in. So there, the pixels are still there. You can add them back in. So now I'm going to go back to my retouching mode. I'm going to zoom in a little bit because it's too far out for me to really get those areas really well. So let me get this like that. Make my brush just a little smaller. And you get the idea. So this is basically what you do. Just keep on going to have it really the way you want it, really nice and neat. And um, that is what you do. So 
once again to refresh. Oops. Got too much of that ear. I'll put it back in. Boop. Now I have to go back with black. So I'm switching my colors back and forth between my foreground and my background color because um, black will paint it out and white will paint it back in. So basically that's how you do it. Um, and so you have to you have to use one of these in your photo composition. So don't be shy. Don't use your eraser tool, what I said, but to refresh um, back to that, you put your image in on a layer, you create, select the layer mask icon, and then just start painting with your black in your set foreground color and a brush. And you adjust the brush size. Um, you can add color back in if you take out too much, if you make a mistake. Um, you can use the white to paint it back in. And that is how you do a layer mask. Any questions, please ask.